You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? What are we looking at? We're looking at a polynomial function. It's of the form where the function is of this type and n is non-negative. Now, wait a minute. I know when you read this, it doesn't make any sense. And I'm going to explain a little bit of that to you. So here we go. n is a non-negative integer. Is that how you spell integer? It feels weird. And the coefficients, that's the numbers in front of all of the variable terms, that's just a coefficient by itself because that's x to the none. Okay, anyways, they're all real. Not like your friends. Anyway, it says these are all nice numbered and these are all non-negative integers why didn't they just say natural numbers I was thinking whole numbers but then that would be with a zero but let's not even do that all right now some nice properties of polynomials are there aren't any sharp turns there aren't any sharp turns. Well, I guess they can be pretty bendy. Anyways, but um, there's also no gaps. That's the nice thing about that form. That's the stuff that they don't explicitly tell you. Now, I'm up here and I'm looking at this function. All right. This is x to the third minus six times the absolute value plus five. Is that a polynomial function? No. Wah. It is absolutely not a polynomial function. Why? Absolute value, that's piecewise defined. It gets you this whole edgy business. It's going to get you that edgy business around that x equals zero. So this is not uh, a polynomial function. Then I'm over here trying to function. And I'm looking at this rational function. Is it a polynomial function? No. Uh, because you know, you can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. You can never divide by zero because you have that whole division by zero thing. You're going to get some gaps. And that's not even a polynomial function. It is its own type of function. It's rational. Ratio of fraction action. So then we take a look at this. Oh, boy. Now, we're trying to see whether or not this is a polynomial function. So we, whew, that's a, uh-huh, yeah, and then that's an x to the one fourth. Now, this is the business right there. You see roots? You see roots? That is not an integer. That is a rational number. Go ahead and look at um, real numbers 2.0. So, because it can be written as a ratio, it's a rational number, it's a fraction, and it says that all of our n's are non-negative integers. I-N-T-E-G-E-R-S. Because that's not an integer, then weird things happen. This is a weird thing that's happening. Well, what? Is this a polynomial function? No. Uh, it's not a polynomial function because it's kinky. It's got a four in the kink. Anything but a one in the kink. Oh, no. This one. Oh, hi, Penelope. Um, oh, polynomials are nice. Not like math teachers. But polynomials are nice. I mean, they're all curvy and you can draw them without picking up your pencil or whatever. Ooh, whatever. And so, um, see those gaps? Got to mind that gap. That is not a polynomial because it has undefined spots. And I find that this is not a polynomial function. So I go and look at one more. Look at that. Woo I got my x. I got my y. And I have this guy. Now, you're all like, that is uh, the line x is equal to something, but look at it. Is it a polynomial function? Does it have any gaps? It doesn't have any gaps. But how can it be a polynomial function if it's not even a function? And I'm just trying to function. Yeah, so not it. One, two, three, not it. Because F is for friends that do stuff together. 
U is for... See you later.